O escritor Philip Roth, considerado o maior romancista da língua inglesa, acaba de anunciar que Nemesis, seu romance de 2010, será o último. Em junho daquele ano, fui convidada a ir à casa onde Roth passa os meses mais quentes do ano numa região idílica do estado de Connecticut e também muito isolada. O vilarejo mais próximo fica a 10 quilômetros da casa e nem tem agência de correio. Tinha conseguido as provas de Nemesis, a obra que agora sabemos é seu romance final. Roth é notório por se recusar a sorrir para a câmera e raramente deu entrevistas à TV. Enquanto eu dirigia, o veterano cinegrafista Sean Conaboy aprendia a usar minha câmera fotográfica, afinal ia posar de fotógrafo. Mas, ao chegarmos na casa, Sean convenceu o escritor e gravou em vídeo esta entrevista exclusiva. Começamos a conversa pela trama de A Humilhação, o penúltimo romance sobre o ator que perde a coragem no palco. So begins with losing his power as an actor. Um, and uh, then he meets this uh, girl, and uh, it seems to be a rejuvenation that occurs with her, but then he's humbled again, and it's too much humbling, and he, he, he commits suicide. Um, you've been killing a lot of people off recently. Have I? Haven't you? Tell me. Marcus? Yeah. Well, Zuckerberg doesn't die. He's, about, he's going he's, to die. He's going to die. Who will? There's a woman in my book, Every Man, who, Every Man? who kills herself. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Should we take note of that? I, I, I suppose so. Um, I suppose so. Um, I have, over the last um, five years, let's say, uh, found myself surrounded by the death of my friends. Prior to that, my parents had died, but in the last five years, my friends and my brother died. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a, there's a lot of death, um, and you spend a lot of time in cemeteries, and you spend some time writing eulogies and delivering them, um, and dealing with the survivors of the dead one, and then going back to your home and remembering the dead one. So death has entered my life bigger than it ever has before. With Nemesis, is that a series of four no, uh, novels that uh, were bundled together? Well, they haven't been bundled together yet, except in my mind. Okay. Um, but I, I did think of Nemesis as the completion of a cycle of short novels, mm -hmm. and I've called it the plural, Nemesis, um, in which, beginning with every man, where the Nemesis is, is illness and death, mm -hmm. mortality at the Nemesis, um, Indignation, where the nemesis is in his indignation and the war. Um, the third one would be the humbling, where his nemesis is uncontrol uncontrollable. It's, it's a circumstance which befalls him. And then Nem in the final book, Nemesis, it's a polio. It's a book about the polio epidemic in 1944. When you mentioned uh, Humbling last year, mm -hmm. that you had heard a story about an actor that had... Yes, I did. Have right. Acting. And that scene with the green dildo, was that inspired from the story you heard? <laughs> it's inspired by my imagination. I have, some, I have some imagination, you know. I won't, I won't deny not that, that. Not that every guy in the street can't imagine a green dildo, and every woman. You'll have the to description of sex. Did anybody mention that to you? No, it's not so far. Okay. <laughs> Has any uh, you? Is it true that Al Pacino bought the rights? Mm -hmm. He wants to be the character. Mm -hmm. Did you meet with him? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of that? Is that a good idea? He's a wonderful, wonderful yeah. actor, isn't he? He's terrific. Yeah. And whatever he does is distinctive and imaginative, and and uh, what we, and you're, you're, you watch it, you watch it. Will you so let we'll him write or someone else? Will someone write? else is going to write it. I think he. I think he's hired a writer. You've had the same screenwriter for two films. And he's awful. I didn't have him. Oh. The, the production company had him. Yes, yeah, so you're not happy with the other. He's people. awful. The guy who he Wait, ruined. They, my, no, Nick Nicholas Nicholas Meyer is that his name? 
he did the screenplay for um, Human Stain. It was it, the screenplay was a disaster. Yes. Uh, Sorry for agreeing. It's a, no, I know it. Uh, he did the screenplay for the Dying Animal called Elegy. Do you play the piano? Would you play for us? And it was a disaster. That was the same production company. I, I, I turn music on when I go in the house to make dinner, which will be in about <clears throat> an hour and a half. And then I have the music on while I make dinner, while I eat dinner. Um, and um, then I watch a ball game for half an hour, and I read. Do you need silence to write? Yeah, absolutely. Silence. Absolute silence. Absolute silence. Oh. <clears throat> when I was living in New York, I had a lot of trouble with the places I lived. Mm -hmm. I had to move often because there would be somebody with the hi-fi set directly overhead or a guy who beat up his wife every night, <laughs> you know? I taught there for two years, from 1960 to 62. Was it rewarding? Yeah, well, I had, I had a wife then, and, and I had to make a living, and uh, I made $5,500 a year. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was not a lot of money even in 1960, $5,500. It was always not a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do you still believe that too much creative writing being taught? Does yes, I do. Yes, uh, any of you to have it? Do you have it in Brazil? Oh, well, now it's beginning. Now it's, it's obviously everything. We catch everything that, that happens in America. Oh, I think it's a great waste of time. Are you already working on another book? Mm -mm, no. no. And why do you why do you say that you, you would rather write one book until you drop? Oh, I can't. The whole business of starting and completing and then starting again is hell. No, I, I, from now on, I just want to keep it on, keep it around, and the, the day I die, they can publish it. Really? Yeah. Because the other, the other writers I've spoken to, they, they need to get it out in the, in the world to lose control over it. No, but then you, the problem is you have to start another one. And starting another one is, is sheer hell. Can I sign that for you? Actually, apparently you signed this for him. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine, then we're set. Thank <laughs> you.